I'm gonna let you guys know right off the bat that this weapon is terrible. But if you have two of them, they might actually be stronger than the crossbow. And the weapon I'm talking about here is the tire or the TYR, however you say it, I don't care. And this is MW3's revolver, which is one of the worst weapons I've ever seen until you get it all the way leveled up. And of course, that's the build I'm using for it, but I didn't come up with this build on my own. I saw this on Reddit from the Moby Dork. So shout out to him. But while we're testing how strong this weapon is today, we'll also be trying to get it Golden Enigma. But for our first camo here, we need 250 kills already got it while I was leveling it up. And then we need 250 kills with frost damage. Then we need 30 hellhound kills. And then we need to get the 10 kills in five seconds, 10 times, which is actually way more difficult now that x has been nerfed. So if you ever seen how these weapons fire, they're more of like a delay fire shot pistol. I guess not with the snake shots on it, but normally they are very, very bad. And we actually happen to spawn right next to the wall by. What a coincidence. But with their like delayed shot, they usually are very powerful. It's just, they don't have a whole lot of ammo in them. As you can see with the only five five shots I have. And they're usually pretty dangerous to use, but as you can see, they're basically one-shotting zombies from up close. And this is without Pack-A-Punch or anything on them right now. Like these just demolish zombies. So I want to get these up to Pack-A-Punch 3 so we can start out by getting them to Pack-A-Punch 2 with this crystal that I got. I'll also throw on all these perks that I have in here and bring it up to rare rarity. But if we also want to get these golden enigma along the way, we have to go and find a cryo freeze ammo mod. So let's take on the stronghold because I want to get this all the way up to pack three and take on a mega abomination. But it was big talk by Moby Dorks saying that these are better than the crossbow because the crossbow took out a mega abomination basically all on its own. He even claimed it takes it down faster than what uh, the juggernaut suit would. Where's this last cyst? Where's it hiding at? Dude, I always struggle on these without death perception. Okay, I think the, the little smoke, the fog has followed me out here. I hope this doesn't stay the whole game. Maybe if we actually clear this out, it'll go away. Oh wait, it went away from me parachuting. We solved it. Oh, it's right here. It was there the whole time. I walked right past it. You have anything good for me in here? Anything that I need? That's not the ammo mod I'm looking for. Come on, help me out here. Okay, we might have to do a few more of these. Where's the next nest or stronghold? There's one right here, but somebody's right next to it. Are they going for it? Don't think so. It means it's mine for the taking. Oh, I think this guy is clearing out the nest. That's all yours, pal. All right, on to the next one, I guess. This effect is making my game look like an old Western. It's almost kind of fitting with our two revolvers. All right, stronghold number three. You have what I need. I cannot see shit. I have no idea what's going on. This is ridiculous now. What the fuck? There we go. We cleared it out. I need to clear out my vision, dude. I need some fucking Claritin. We got a cryo freeze deadbolt turret circuit. Not really what we're looking for, but close. It's a good try game. This one's gotta have it, right? Oh, there it is. Finally. Okay, we got what we need. All right, now we can actually start working on grinding. And there's another method that involves the spore contract. Last time we we're doing the outlast contract and we might go back to it. But some people have been saying the spore contract's faster. So I want to try it out a bit. So let's start it up. Why is Rabinoff so bad though? And what we got to do for this strat, hold on, Hellhound, dead, is take these little tacticals that they give us for this and throw them on each one of these spores. And these tacticals normally normally are just supposed to like break down this little outer layer on these little eggs. But whenever you throw one of these by the spores, it starts spawning in some zombies. And normally what we would do after the little outer layer has been taken out is you just destroy the spore by like shooting it. But if you don't destroy them, the zombie spawns are just infinite. So we're just going to keep it going and see if uh, we get some decent spawns here. And there's a little bit of zombies here. I feel like we might get a bit more in Outlast, to be honest. Maybe it's different in different areas of the map, but they seem like they respawn pretty fast. What we need to do is get our 10 kills in five seconds, 10 times. So I need to start training these guys up and then blasting them. That should be good. That was at least 10. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm feeling this contract for grinding. Like it's decent. There's definitely zombies. And they're non-stop. It's just a little slow. A little slow for my liking. So I think I might end this contract, but it doesn't look like any of the things near the spores are actually still here. And I don't have any more. What are these zombies doing? Guys? Oh, shit. I got distracted. Almost got me killed. So I might just have to cancel this one. Later, spores. All right. Where's not last contract? Is there still any? Oh, there's one right here. We'll do a level two. We can handle it. All right, give me this and let's start it up. And what you guys have told me since we tried this one out last time is that we don't need to actually keep giving it progress. I think all we need to do is get it up to 50% to get like the most out of the spawns. And then we just need to leave the area and that's it. It does not matter if it goes down to zero. It'll still keep going. And we get way more hellhounds this way which is perfect for our camo. So we got it up there. And now we just need to figure out where all the spawns are coming from. 
to make this more efficient. Actually, I think the zombie spawns will just come to us no matter where we go. So we just gotta find a good spot to sit at. Yeah, our progress is literally at 0% and nothing's happening. So we can just keep it at 0% forever. But the spawns are way slower on this side of the building. So I'm going back around. Oh, there's our 250 kills of the frost damage. We're all done with that. And there's our 30 hellhound kills. So we just need our kills fast now. Let me start training these guys up, which is a little hard to do with all these hellhounds. They're just way too fast. They're sitting there biting my ankles and that shit hurt. I don't even know if it's spawning in 10 zombies at a time. It might be less than 10. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're literally getting seven zombies at a time. We might have to end this contract and go do a different one or just go to the high tier zone. This is not enough. Okay, actually, there's way more zombies here now that we got it up to 96%. So all you guys tell me that we can bring it down to zero and they'll still be the same amount of zombies? Wrong. I guess you guys were right about us being able to bring it down to zero and there still being zombies spawning. So we can both be right. <gasps> and we get the ray gun out of this? Are you fucking kidding me? And a large backpack? What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. I've never seen the ray gun as a drop like that. I've only seen the schematic, which arguably is better. Actually, not even arguably. It just is better, but that's crazy. And we almost have enough for pack a bunch three, so we might as well just make our way over into the tier three zone. All right, come on, zombies. I just need a little bit more money. There we go. Where's pack a punch? Right over here. Let's fly there just to be safe. And I will be getting these to pack a bunch three. And now we can see their full potential. I wish we had a legendary aether tool, but rare will have to do. This is two shotting zombies up here in the three tier zone. Oh, I actually just one shot at them. Maybe if I just go for crits. But here's our target, the mega abomination. So a quick monkey bomb to distract all the zombies. Let's see if we can take this bad boy out. Don't you shoot your laser at me, buddy. Oh, it already does a decent chunk of his health. There's just way too many zombies chasing after me. I honestly wish I could just turn on the deadbolt turret and it only go after zombies and leave the mega abomination alone. Okay, we got one of his heads gone. Ooh, is that another one down? Nope, but it's close. I can feel it, but I am also close to dying. These zombies will not leave me alone. All right, come on. Let me pop that open for you. Oh, no. All right, well, you know, his response to that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call it a mortar strike. Maybe that'll kill enough zombies for me to get my frenzied guard back. I'm starting to realize maybe that doesn't go towards my frenzied guard. Oh, you know what would really help? Dead shot. But I'm broke as shit. Completely out of ammo now. Oh, wait. There's some on the ground. We're, we're back in business. Okay, so this definitely does not kill the mega abomination as fast as the crossbow does. But maybe that's because I can shoot the crossbow from longer range. And this, I kind of have to be up close and personal with it. But I'm making excuses for it. It's still doing some pretty hefty damage, though. Gotta give it that. Oh, and there goes another head. What are you yelling about? You only got enough heads to yell. And I think I'm just now realizing if you blow up one of his heads, it can't do the laser attack, which is... Uh, maybe I should have gotten that by now. Maybe I should have understood that. And this should be the kill shot right here. Nope. Okay, just maybe a few more. This is it. See you later. Okay, so we can still take out a mega abomination with these. Maybe we can do some fine tuning to them and they could get better. But I still don't think we have our 10 kills in five seconds camo. So we need to start working on that. And now the Aether Storm's on its way. Where is it starting from? Oh, all the way over there. We got a little bit of time. But I think I have a plan to try to get our 10 kills rapidly. Since I have the first act done, I still have this mission here to extract. And if I go there, I'll have a bit of extra time to grind these camos out. And the zombies there will be easier to kill. And I think they spawn more of them as well. So let's call it in. Let's go find Dr. Jansen. And this is where the fun begins. And actually where I got these leveled up at. But there's a bunch of mercenaries here. And there's a bunch of zombies swarming in on them. And you can stay in loot here for about 45 minutes. You don't have to leave once you find Dr. Jensen and all that. You can just stay and chill here. Now we just got to activate this. Please don't snipe me while I'm doing it. We're going to have an issue. Yeah, you need to stop. Oh, that's way too many dudes. Okay. At least we still have self-revives. Actually, these guys ever seen a ray gun before? Yeah, I bet not. But now we just gotta talk to Dr. Jensen. Go ahead and start deleting all your files. Damn, and I'm down again. What the fuck? I'm throwing. I think we still have like two more self-revives though, so good thing we found a lot. All right, she's all done deleting her shit. Now we can leave. But once we make it up here to the helipad, this is where the real Axfell is, the non-nerfed Axfell. And now that our Axfell helicopter is here, all we gotta do is just not get in it. And zombies will constantly spawn here unlimitedly 
for the next 33 minutes. So we should be able to get all of our 10 kills rapidly. And hopefully we'll be able to get out of here with gold. Just gotta train around for a second until there's enough zombies on the helipad. Oh, there's a lot actually. Look at this. This is pre-nerf X-Fill levels of zombies. And on top of it, I don't think I can crash here. Knock on wood. Because I'm literally the only person in this server. Because this brings you all the way to your own little area. Look how many zombies are right here. That's definitely 10. It's gotta be. Yep, there it is. So if we didn't have any more camos to do, we could just sit here and kill all these zombies all we wanted. And just a little added bonus for those of you watching this late into the video. If you come in here with any deadbolt turret circuits, there's a nice convenient deadbolt turret right here. And you can just toss these bad boys in here. I just so happen to have four of them, which will fill this whole thing up. And then I can literally just sit here and do basically nothing. And this is how I got these guns leveled up. I, I went through, I played some multiplayer. It was leveling up pretty slow. I was playing some zombies, just doing like contracts and trying to get kills. It was going pretty slow. And then I came in here and I think I got like 12, 13 levels just by sitting right here in this corner. And the deadbolt turret will just auto lock to every single zombie around. So all you people that were doing those like sentry duplicate exploit things at the x fill before it got patched, this is way, way better. You don't put anyone's game in jeopardy and you don't really even really have to do anything besides find deadbolt circuits and then just bring them into here. And you can even find them when you come into here. You can loot this entire area that's on this map. Everything in here is lootable. But since I'm pretty sure we got all of our camos, let's leave. And hopefully that's an exfil that they don't nerf. And we'll have to wait and see if we get gold until after this cutscene that I've already seen like six times. We had 1,056 zombie kills, but did we get gold? Come on. Don't show me the battle pass. I don't care. Oh, let's go. We did get gold. And technically that counted as like two different games. That's weird. It only showed the two camos at the end there. But we got every single camo for our tires or their TYRs, whatever the fuck they're called. And we still need to do our three other pistols to get these Zerk on scale. And just in case you're curious, that's what our TYRs look like in game with Golden Enigma. And they have a pretty sweet inspect animation. These things are sweet. So maybe these didn't live quite up to the crossbow damage. Maybe I didn't have them built quite right. Maybe we could have went a little higher on the rarity and added Deadshot into it to add to the damage. But these are still way better than I expected them to be. When I first started using this pistol, it was awful and I was dreading using it. Then I came across that post, decided to build it with snake shot and akimbo, which I should have done in the first place. And these things are nasty, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here again. Thank you guys for all your support since this games came out. I truly do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one later.